Hello everybody. Today I will introduce the world's first reflowable USB 3.0 isolator chip. First, let me show you the isolator chip. It is about 7 mm by 16 mm. The top side and the bottom side. You can see some pads on the bottom side. So you can do the reflow procedure with other components on your PCB board. Next, let me show you our USB isolator evaluation board. There are two USB connectors here and here. One is type A male and the other type A female. You can see our USB 3.0 isolator chip in the middle. The red component is an isolated 2 watt DC DC converter with which we can provide electrical power from the host side to the peripheral side with galvanic isolation maintained. The two red shunt jumpers are for selecting the power supply. For the host side shunt jumper this is the default position and the power comes from the host through the USB connector. If we change it to the other position, then the power comes from the external source. For the peripheral side shunt jumper, it is similar. Now it, it's at the default position and the power comes from the DC-DC converter. If we change it to the other position, then the power comes from the external source. Okay, let's give it a quick try. First, let's insert the isolator into the USB 3 port of my laptop. Because both sides of the USB isolator chip are powered, so you can see to green LED. Next, let's insert the USB memory. Okay, you can see a new USB drive appeared here and we can see the files inside. Okay, no problem. Next, let's confirm if the transmission speed of the isolator is really super speed 5 gigabps. This is a USB 3 external SSD drive. Let's first see the transmission speed without the isolator. Okay, you see the SSD drive is recognized as volume D and we can see the file inside and uh, this is a software crystal disk mark uh, which can be used to investigate the transmission speed to the heart to the external drive uh, let's select uh, volume D and start it it takes several minutes. The result is shown here. The unit is a megabyte per second. So if you multiply the value by eight, then you can get about three to four gigabit per second. It's not bad for a USB 3 external drive. Next, let's see what will be the speed with the isolator. First, let's insert the isolator. Then the external SSD drive. Then it's again uh, recognized as 
drive D. Let's start it. You see, there is almost no difference in the speed with or without the isolator. The USB 3 SSD drive works perfectly with our USB 3 isolator. See you.